Hello. No. Hello, hello. Hello, hello again, dear Santa Claus. Thank you. It's such a pleasure to see you. I know that you are in a hurry. Um, how is everything going on? Is it okay before Christmas? Everything is ready already? <laughs> um, almost, almost. Very, very exciting time. Uh, and uh, about my time is magic time. So no problem at all. I'm happy to be able to um, contact you and be connected with you another time. You made my day. <laughs> Oh, thank you. Um, is there like a, like a drawing you have in your hand? What what is it that you have in your hand? Is it like a drawing? I'm just uh, checking my daily correspondence, and I don't know if you can see, but I get a wonderful, beautiful drawing. Oh, can you see this? The yes, I can see. There is the Rudolph. Oh, there is you! Oh my God, everything! That's yes, me. this is from Anna, who is a wonderful young lady from Austria, and this is uh, me, and this is some of my reindeer, and and, and so on. I love this. Oh, it's fantastic! It's like totally, totally great. So, um, I know this is the view we have to wait and you know keep looking, looking up in the sky because we may see you soon. <laughs> in the sky somewhere. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Uh, and we have to be good. Yes. Um, I saw on the webcam that you have a lot of snow right now uh, at your place. Do you have the special power so you can give some snow to us? I mean, Polish children and Polish adults and Polish seniors uh, for the Christmas time. Is it possible to have some snow? From you? I would love to bring a bit of snow to Poland. Mm, but we will see. Okay. Uh, and you are not the only one. I used to receive quite a lot of wishes from around the world. So people are asking why Christmas to here and there. And in my opinion, it's kind of uh, why Christmas is state of mind. If you have enough... Uh, Christmas power, Christmas magic, Christmas spirit, you can create and feel the snow and ice and frost covering you. It doesn't matter if you spend Christmas in Finland or England or Australia or Poland, you can enjoy it. Um, it is said, we all know that you bring presents only to those of us who are good. So I wanted to ask you, what do you think it means to be good? To be a good person nowadays in 21st Wonderful, century. Beautiful, amazing question you have. And first of all, I would like to ask your opinion. What does it mean to be good? Hmm, I think it means to be like nice to other people, to treat them kindly, to listen to them, to be helpful, um, to respect other people. I think especially if they are different than we are. Um, and also, I think it means to be good to ourselves. I mean, you know, take care of ourselves, to have friends that are really good friends, you know, to choose things that are good for us. That's what I think. Do, do you agree with me, Santa? <laughs> <laughs> well, I love your answer. And I wonder, would you like to... Oh, are you interested to join the ELF team? I need a lot of help <laughs> yes. for the coming Christmas with all the preparations and I have a huge amount of elves doing all things together and your answers sound like you would be a real elf. Okay. So anytime yes. you are very welcome to join the great uh, coach uh, elf team here in Lapland. I have my things with me so after the interview I will start my way to uh, Lapland. Um, <laughs> Think about that. Okay. And, um, I still uh, would like to confirm uh, what you said. Mm -hmm. It's uh, really nice. Being good means to do mm, good things for your friends and loved ones and families and be good for yourself. And one good point is that you don't need to be perfect. Oh, that if is, you yeah, try that is. to be good. And if you just do your best, that's enough. Yeah, I think that's, that's really important because sometimes we are trying to be better and better and better and we are trying to catch this perfection and sometimes it's like impossible and then we are sad and we think that, no, we are not good enough. Um, so do you think because like this year 2020 is uh, different for a lot of people it's really hard. Um, 
Do you think that also this year, especially the Christmas time, will make us cherish even more the time we spent with family, friends, um, the colleagues than we, we used to do, like, you know, during previous years? We will cherish more the time and people instead of presents and gifts? Definitely, I agree that what you say. Uh, for so many of us, Christmas is time of uh, togetherness. Uh, and this year, in many countries, you cannot travel and, and, and go to your parents or grandparents or so. But thanks to the modern technology, we are still able to be connected. We can set time with our families and loved ones by modern technology, like, uh, you know, video calls and online meetings and so on. Yeah, like we do now. I mean, I have to tell you that I, well, a couple of years ago when I was smaller, I wrote a letter to you and I got a response and it was like, oh, I remember it like it was yesterday. And uh, it's really like important and amazing for me that now because of, you know, this like computers and Internet, we can actually, you know, see each other and Talk like if we are in the same room. It's amazing. So I think, yeah. That's right. And think about me. I'm an old and a little bit old-fashioned man. And I still feel that uh, Pigeon and Pigeon Post is like new and modern innovation. You know those birds uh, yes. carrying the pieces. Yeah, 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 yeah. And, mm -hmm. and, and, and then send the messages um, uh, bringing and coming with them. And for me, it's uh, like, uh, like yesterday it happened. Oh, <laughs> times go fast, really, really, really fast. Um, uh, how does your typical day look like? Do you have a lot of, I don't know, work, a lot of, uh, I don't know, uh, things to do? Do you or do you spend your day by, I don't know, telling elves and your team what they have to do and just, you know, taking care so then everything is done? <laughs> I think my day is quite typical, like ordinary day. Same kind, same as almost all the people have around the world. I wake up and and, and used to have some good breakfast and huge amount of hot chocolate, and then hot chocolate for breakfast. Mm. Yes, after breakfast, uh, finalizing the ah, okay. breakfast. I love uh, um, hot chocolate, as I think most of you. Too. Mm -hmm. And then, like you all, I go to out and play with the elves. We can, we probably, uh, for example, this morning we made some snowmen and mm -hmm. then, uh, some snowball and we, oh. and, and then we <laughs> went to check if everything is fine with reindeer. And then we read a mountain of letters from around the world, and we had big fun time to read them and and, and uh, write some answers and. And then I had some catnap uh, twice or three times or so. Okay. And then we had an important meeting with the reindeer. We were uh, discussing about the coming route uh, around the world. Mm -hmm. So very basic things as all the Yeah, time very before, basic. I suppose. But do you use basic liquid as coffee? Does, does, uh, does Santa Claus drink coffee? Well, yes, I do. I <laughs> love coffee as well, uh, but hot chocolate is uh, one of my favorites. And Christmas time, I need a lot of energy to um, travel around the world. And that time, one of my favorites is also um, milk, reindeer milk with a mm. bit of bee honey. Oh, that is good. So like when we are uh, talking about food... Um, what is your favorite Christmas food? And another a question from my friend who is vegan. Would you eat vegan cookies and drink vegan milk? So something that is like, no. Oh, <laughs> uh, well, I'm a big man, as you can see, and I love all kind of delicacies. At Christmas, one of my classic is mm, rice porridge. Yes, uh, mm -hmm. it's made by rice and including some almonds. Ooh. And mm -hmm. those who get the almonds are lucky ones who are able to make a wish. Mm. That's great beginning for the Christmas Day and Christmas Eve as well. And about your friend's uh, question, of course, of course, thank you uh, in advance. I would love to taste your uh, suggestions. Mm, and please don't forget 
to my close good friends with big horns and red nose. Loves. He's vegetarian. So Rudolf. No hamburgers, no chocolate for him, but some nice fresh carrots would be very, very great present for Rudolf. But if we leave a tiny pierniczek, piernik, pierniki for you, dear Santa Claus, will you eat Polish pierniki? I heard you like it. <laughs> I love those uh, mm, pierniczki. Pierniczki, yeah. yes. Oh, I love it. And and, and uh, mm, uh, uh, my elves here in Finland, uh, they use same kind of uh, Christmas cake and they build a house. Oh. Like a pierniki house. Mm-hmm. I, I would love to see some there in Poland. So can you, do you think you can uh, bake a pierniki? Yes. And then make this like... Uh, yeah, and then bring it like when, when I come to visit to work as one of your elves. I will take it with me. Yeah. Right yeah. It. And then you can manage that. You are very welcome <laughs> to show the yes. team. Yes, yes. So I have last two questions. Um, uh, Kusamo like, is the place that a lot of Polish people, I, I guess every Polish person knows, because there is like the ski jumping place. And as you know, we are quite good in it. We we love the sport. <laughs> have you ever been there? And do you know any Polish <laughs> ski jumpers? I heard you know. <laughs> <Some of them. laughs> well, um, I like sports and uh, expert watching. I love to participate. And uh, I'm coaching um, one ski jumping team. It's the team of uh, elves. Mm-hmm. And quite soon we will have a competition. And the another team is uh, lead by Rudolf, the red nose. Right oh, it's not a and... fair play, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I think I feel we are in a bit of troubles because, you know, Christmas reindeer, they can fly. So they are magical with the jumps. And sometimes they forget to, 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 to land at all. Oh. <laughs> there in the sky and so and and and, and as I said, I'm coaching the team elves, so perhaps I need some help. Uh, perhaps I should consult my good friend Camille. Camille Stock, the ski jumper. Yes, I do know Camille. Yeah, everybody knows. We all love Camille Stock. Oh, yes. greetings to him, and if he has uh, time and interest, he would be very welcome here in Lapland and to teach the elves which way to, to, to master this uh, mm-hmm. ski jumping, art of ski jumping. So I will take Kamil Stok, I will take House of Pierniki with me, we will all come there and help you uh, do everything. So uh, the last um, question, dear Santa Claus, because like... You are always taking care of us, people, and I mean, the kids and adults and seniors all around the world. Is there anything we can wish you and your team for the Christmas time and New Year? <laughs> oh, thank you. Uh, <laughs> I, I'm like a little child, think that what do I wish? What, what do I wish? I need this and that and this and that. But one thing I really uh, wish for this Christmas is that we all could experience Christmas as a relaxing time and as a happy moment, which uh, that also revitalizes us. Um, we cannot deny uh, or um, forget the pandemic, but nothing can stop us from enjoying the finest time of the year. Uh, if you want to wish me something, you can say Hyvä joulua. Hyvä joulua. Excellent. That means uh, Happy Christmas. It's very easy and simple. But you can also wish like Vesovich uh, Sviont. Vesovich Sviont, yes! <laughs> you speak in all languages of the world. Uh, Santa Claus, thank you, thank you, thank you for your time and this amazing conversation. Um, could you like greet our listeners, listeners to our radio, just like for, for goodbye and wish them Merry Christmas? Hello, all my dear friends there in Poland. This is Santa Claus talking from the Arctic Circle in Lapland. I love you and uh, from the very bottom of my heart, I wish you all a Christmas full of happiness and joy. Thank you. Take care. Dziękujemy. See you soon. See you soon. Bye.